Now this tutorial shows you the masking animation technique. Now this animation technique shows or hides elements on the underlying layers of a mask layer. So the concept here is similar to a someone wearing a mask wherein you hide some portion of your face but you reveal a portion of your face. Let's say you're hiding your cheeks, okay, you're hiding your um your nose, but you can reveal your eyes and your lips when you wear a mask. So it's the same concept with the mask animation technique. So this is how to do it. So here, basically you would need two layers. So you would need a layer for the object to mask, and then you would also need a layer for the mask. Let's say we're going to create a rainbow, wherein the rainbow would gradually show its colors okay, from one end to another end. So I'm just going to rename this layer here, let's say rainbow. And let's say I'm going to draw my rainbow. Okay, let's say I'm going to use here no fill, but just keep the stroke. Make use of this one, so you could enhance or you could change the size of your stroke. Let's just say this is our rainbow. Alright. You may also just change the, um, the width of your stroke. You may change the width of your stroke. Okay, let's say for example here, and I'm going to duplicate this. Let's say I'm going to press Alt, click and drag. Alright, I'm going to click and drag, and you can choose a different color. Let's say red. Okay, just going to move it using the move tool. Alright, there you go. Alt, click and drag again. Just to duplicate the colors or the rainbow, you can just change a different color. Okay, let's say yellow. And right. Just gonna have one more. So it's gonna be green. Okay. Let's just say this is gonna be a simple rainbow with just four colors in it. Now we don't need the whole thing, so you can just, since it's a merge drawing mode, it's easy for you to just get rid of the rest of the elements. So you can make use of the lasso tool and crop those elements that you need, you don't need. So click, click, oops, alright, maybe better if we just use a selection tool here and click and drag and delete. And just say that's going to be the rainbow, no? If you don't need this ones as well, you can also just delete the part. Now we wanted to create an animation here for this rainbow. So we have here the, the, the layer rainbow below and we need to create another layer on the top. Let's name this mask. Now this mask is going to be responsible for showing a portion of the rainbow and hiding a portion of a rainbow. So I'm just going to make use of an oval tool. Let's say circle. Oops, but this time we need a fill, so let's add a fill. Oops, just same color here. Just say this one. Alright, get rid of the stroke. And, okay, better, just create a new one again. Say this is our, yeah, this is going to be our mask. So select, create an object for the mask. And convert it to symbol, just right click, and then you have here convert to symbol. Now, let's name this mask. Now, all you need to do is, okay, after that one, you set the duration of your animation. Let's say this one is going to be animated until the um, 90th frame. Okay, for example, so F6. Okay, when you reach that part, F6. Or you can just right click, insert keyframe. Now, here, Okay, I want you to select your mask layer of frame 1 and try to position your mask object on the t tip of the rainbow. No, So it's try trying to cover one end of the rainbow. And then you try to select another keyframe. Let's say in frame 25, Okay, insert another keyframe. Or you can press F6 and try to move your mask or you can even make it a bit bigger you press Q to transform make it a bit bigger okay and add another keyframe let's say on frame 50 insert another keyframe 
and then you can make your circle a little bit more bigger okay and another keyframe let's say in frame 75 right click insert a keyframe and make it make it more bigger trying to cover more space on the rainbow and on the last keyframe let's say on the 90th frame okay it's gonna be very big so you can also just as you can see it's a different keyframe here the, the circles on the other end because we did it um, before creating the previous keyframe so you can just copy this frame here you can just drag it on the 90th frame so it's gonna overwrite the previous one that we created a while ago and then in the 90th frame you can make it more big bigger so you can scale it a lot more bigger covering the whole rainbow so now here if you want you could even just extend okay maybe uh, okay, maybe make it a hundred all right so once you've done that you can add a tween right click create a classic tween in between the different keyframes all right <coughs> okay so you can see here that this mask here is trying to cover the portion of the rainbow until all of it has been covered now after you do that okay the mask layer has to be converted into a mask layer so you just have to right click on it and then you have here mask now in that way okay the, is now creating the mask layer so as you can see when I hover your um, okay, the, okay display head across the timeline is showing a portion of the rainbow and hiding the portion of the rainbow so when you preview it this is how it's gonna look like so this is the masking animation technique so you're hiding a portion of an image and you're revealing a portion of an image so what has been covered by the mask is gonna be shown when you preview it when you animate it you know, okay